Hey, fellow tennis nerds, I hope all is well. Off court coaching, they're gonna introduce it now, H2, meaning the second half of the year, starting from July 11th. It's a whole topic now, people put out their opinions like they always do. Uh, some are 100% for, some are 100% against. It's a pretty strong, polarizing topic in the tennis community. We have guys like Patrick Maratoglu, he says this. Congratulations to the ATP for legalizing a practice that has been going on at, at almost every match for decades. No more hypocrisy. That's Patrick Maratoglu. Then we have another out, outspoken guy uh, named Nick Kyrgios. He said, completely disagree. Loses one of the only unique traits that no other sport had. The player had to figure out things on his own. This was the beauty of it. What happens if a high-profile player versus a low-ranked player who doesn't have or afford a coach? Very fair points, both of them, because there is a lot of coaching going on. Not with everyone, but there will be talk from the coach and the team to the player. Sometimes it's just encouragement, which is not coaching, but sometimes I think it borders onto coaching. I think that's what Patrick Moratoglu means. He's been guilty of this himself sometimes with Serena in the past, as you've seen and received warnings and so on. So I'm keen to hear your opinions. What do you think about this? Is this a great idea? It's a trial phase, so they will evaluate after these half a year and see where they stand? Or is it a, a very bad idea? Don't even try it. Don't even go there. This is an individual sport. We shouldn't get into coaching and stuff like that. So keen to hear your opinions in the comments. It's pretty expected as a move because in the next gen finals, they've been trialing this and other strange rules like the scoring system and, and no add and stuff like that. But this one is pretty big and will have an impact on the sport. Might be a positive one. I talked to some tennis friends who, who love the idea of getting more insight, but it only really works if you can hear what they're saying. If you can't hear what they're saying, I guess it's just another element for the audience that doesn't make any sense. But if you can hear their interactions like they did on the WTA tour, or if they mic them up like in the Ultimate Tennis Showdown, it makes a lot of sense in a way for entertainment value. I don't know if for the sporting sense of it, that you're not solving your own problems. I think the older generation players like Fed and uh, Rafa, they might be completely against this because they are used to solving their own issues, but for some players, maybe it makes more sense than others. So what does this really mean from the 11th of July? Uh, we can go to the ATP website and have a look. Uh, uh, they will be permitted under the following conditions. Coaches must sit in the tournament's designated coach seats. Coaching verbal and non-verbal is allowed only if it does not interrupt play or create any hindrance to the opponent. I think that makes sense. Verbal coaching is permitted only when the player is at the same end of the court. Non-verbal coaching, hand signals is permitted at any time. This will be interesting. There will be more cameras on the coaches for sure. Verbal coaching may consist of a few words and or short phrases. No conversations permitted. Coaches may not speak to the player when the player leaves the court for any reason. So there are some rules here. Penalties and fines will still apply for abuse or misuse of the above, above coaching conditions. So it comes with quite a lot of conditions. It's not really a free for all. You, you're not allowed to do whatever but it will change things and we will see more hand gestures. Maybe it will become like doubles where you see a lot of hand gestures before the serve. Who knows? I'm very keen to hear what you think. I'm on the fence kind of, I think it's good to try new things. I think tennis might need to evolve a little bit, but since it's a sport that has a long history and it's an individual sport where you have to solve your own problems, I think it also needs to tread very carefully with these things and not just jump into them because there's a risk of harming the sport. So. I'm all for a trial, personally. I think it can be interesting to see how it goes. But then if it doesn't really work or you see some really negative consequences, I think they need to stop it. That's my opinion on this topic. Uh, quickly now about the sponsor, the Singles Playbook from Facielo Boss. Great book. Learn tactics, strategy, plays. Figure out how to win more points against your opponents using smart strategic play, not just hitting the ball, whatever your gut tells you to hit it actually thinking behind your, your tennis, comes with videos, lessons online, and this booklet, uh, definitely a great deal. I bought it a year ago before they sponsored my YouTube channel, so I'm very happy that they do that now. Big thanks for their support, big thanks to your support for watching, commenting, and being active. If you want to support more, use any of the links in the description, and I would be very much happy about that. Have a nice day now, and don't forget to play some tennis.